Hey yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building and finishing up the back part of the cargo door on the C5 Galaxy that we are working on. So anyways guys, with that said, don't forget to subscribe for more content similar to this, which is building, build challenges, tutorials, and much more. Anyways guys, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay guys, so starting off, what I've done since last episode was I've finished this little ramp right here. So I've just made it go, I go down a little bit further so it does reach the ground. Because last episode it did not quite reach the ground. So this episode it does. So that was a small change but we still have to do a lot more like fill in these simple holes right here. We gotta paint this, we gotta add that roof and extend it all the way back. We gotta change this. We gotta get rid of these levers and change it to only one lever. So this will be the only lever we got to make these things a little bit stronger because they're a little bit weak at the moment. See, because we can bounce on them. And when we do spawn it in, they do bounce a, li a little bit. We also, as well as that, have to fill this in right here. As well as paint these things right here. So anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get started with that. So we can do it faster. So let's return it to the bench. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab a function block this one right here and we're going to simply place it right here so it'll be attached to right here and as well as here so this lever will go to um so this lever will go to that function block as well as this right here which is lifting this part up so we can get we could simply just delete this right here the lever left lever so on that lever it'll lift this right or this section right here as well as this so um to make this stronger i think i'm gonna try to make it more one to one uh, 32 we'll see if that makes it stronger same with this so let's just simply change that gear ratio now for this we're gonna do the same on the other side and let's hope it does make it stronger if it doesn't that's not good but we're still gonna try so let's spawn in and we will check it out um it didn't really make it stronger okay uh let's try open it maybe okay oh uh it's not really opening okay let's change the gear ratios back and just add a counterweight that might help with it might help with it by a lot so let's simply change this to a one to one okay same with this all right we'll change this one to a one to one as well as this okay so also we need to change this right here a function block to a x times We'll go with 10 so it goes up 10 times faster than this so then we need to add another function right here so this one needs to be or just a clamp we need to add a clamp that would probably go better so we need to clamp this one to a point three so let's place this here and then attach this to the throttle lever so the function or not the clamp uh, not the function the clamp will be one two point Three five. Three five will probably do. So now we're going to go ahead and add some counterweights to this section right here. So when it's out, it's going to be tilted up along this. So um, maybe we'll just add some weights to like directly over here. So it's oh actually let's go ahead and turn the mirror mode on first. So maybe we'll add some weights to like right here and such. And that way it'll be heavier on this part. I don't know if it's gonna help, we'll see. But it's it's worth a shot. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it out. All right, okay, let's go ahead, open this. Okay, there's a hitbox problem. We're not, we're not gonna go with the counterweight. We might just have to XML mod the actual 
um, strength of these. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the XML file, which I will talk my way through it since you guys can't see, since I'm only capturing the game. So I'm going to go to storage. I'm going to go click user. I'm going to click my computer user. I'm going to do app data, roaming, stormworks, data, vehicles, and then I'm going to go ahead and save these two as their own vehicle. So let me copy it and let me save it as a strong, oh, strong robotic pivot. We'll just go with strong because I don't really have a lot of vehicles named strong. So I'm going to save it and now I'm going to search for it. Actually, it popped up right at the top. So I'm going to right click and go to edit. That's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of code. Let me change. Actually, never mind. I'll just go ahead and go to. So what I need to find is max force, max force scalar. So I'm going to change that to a hundred. And now I'm going to find the other one. Um, okay, I found that one. So now I'm going to change that to a hundred. I'm going to save it. So file save. Okay, so I'm going to cut this and I'm going to go ahead and grab the actual, oh, not that. I'm going to go ahead and grab this and paste it. I'm going to press U and I'm going to paste these as well. So this will go to here and this will merge with here. This will merge with here as well as that. Okay, so let's go ahead and connect it to the throttle lever. And this will go to here, this will go to here. Okay. Uh, these will go to here and here. Let me turn the sound down really quick. Okay. Let's go ahead and spawn it in now. And see if it works. Because if it does, that would be great. Okay, so that didn't work very well. Um, I have a idea. So. Um. Yeah, I think I have an idea for this. So. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab uh, two blocks. So we're going to need a track base or a slide track connector. So we're going to go ahead and place, uh, where would it be? We're going to place it right here. And this will be connected to a, here it is, a uh, uh, sliding track gripper, uh, sliding connector gripper. <laughs> oh, that took a second for me to say. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and place it down right here. And so what's going to happen is this, these doors are going to bounce down, then they're gonna bounce back up and connect to this, which will connect to it with no problem, and it'll keep it stable until it decides to fold back up. So, now how we're going to prevent it from getting stuck is we're going to go ahead and grab a threshold gate. Uh, we're going to simply place it down right here. And if, um, hold on, let's go with release connector. So if this right here is any greater than 0.01, oh, not negative, zero point oh one and a high of we'll go with one ten we'll go at ten at the just to be safe uh, i know it's not really gonna happen it's not gonna go above ten but we, I, I still like to be safe okay so it's gonna be above if it's above point zero one it's going to release the connector and release the doors so that way when we spawn in this time it shouldn't actually have a problem. So, yeah, look at that. There we go. That is our temporary solution and it works. So, when we open our doors, they um, got stuck on a hitbox. That's ironic. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me go ahead and change the placement of those. So, let's go ahead and grab this. Okay, we're going to go ahead place this right here 
Uh, actually, a block higher. Okay, we're gonna go over this block. So let's delete those. We're gonna place it right here. And this will be next to the release connector. There we go. Okay. So now let's simply delete this block right here. Let's grab this color right here. Let's press Control Z. We'll place this here. Then we'll grab the outside color and just simply place it right here. Okay, there we go. So now that that works, that's really good. So now what we need to do is we need to simply fill this area in. So this will be filled in um, with the outside color. So let's simply, uh, actually let's paint this part first. So let's fill this in to here. Let's go ahead, paint all this to gray. Okay, then we'll fill this in. All right, now we're going to go ahead and fill in the parts that we cannot see. So like this, we're just going to simply paint this as well as that. We also got this here. Okay, this is here as well. All right, so now we're gonna do the other side. So this is a little bit harder to reach, but we got it. Okay, so we're simply just gonna paint this. Uh, let's get to it, there we go, okay. There we go. So we're just going to simply paint this along here. Okay, if we can reach it. Uh, can I get this one for some reason? There we go. All right, there we go. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, that should be good theoretically. Um, okay, we also have a block here that's missing. All right, so now we're going to simply finish this up right here, the, the ramp. So there's a missing block right here, which I believe is a track. So we'll connect it to this. All right, now there also might be one over here. No, there's not. So let's go ahead spawn in and try it out. Then as soon as we get that, then we can go ahead and lower the other gates. So let's go ahead and turn the time off. Okay, let's open this. All right, let's go ahead, open this. Okay, something didn't open there. Why didn't that open? Maybe the threshold gate wasn't connected up. That could be the reason. So the threshold gate was connected to the right lever Maybe this was stuck, so, huh. I have a solution, so we'll just simply go ahead and cut this, and we'll paste it over here, so it doesn't get caught on that hitbox right there. We'll do the same for the other side, and then we'll merge them. So I'll simply paste this right here. Okay, let's go ahead and place these blocks here. And we'll just simply paste them, well, cut them like that. And then this will just merge with here, just like that, as well as that. Okay, there we go. So now let's spawn in and try it out. So it should theoretically work this time. Like I said, like the last several times, but then they didn't, but this time should. So I got my, high, my hopes high. Okay, that's opened and they didn't go up. Why did they go up? They have numbers going to them. Is this still? Why? Um, also, this is a problem. Okay, but why? Maybe it's the speed? Let's try it again. Let's see what happens. Alright. Let's go ahead and open this. Okay, what's going on here? Is it stuck on something? I don't get it. Maybe let's try to bounce it out. It feels... Like it's stuck on this or something. Um, that's odd. Okay, 
Um, so, this is activated. This is activated. What is the problem here? Uh, I don't get it. That's really odd. Okay, uh... Well then, um... Hmm. These are merged the right way, right? Yeah. Yeah, supposedly. Um, that's... Odd. What's it merged? So this is merged to here. Uh, let me try several throttle levers. Oh. So let's grab a throttle lever. Just simply place it down right here. Okay, let's connect this to these. As well as the threshold gate. As well as these. So, let's spawn, spawn it in and try it. I wonder what the problem is. I, I don't get it. I really do not get what the problem is. So, let's just simply open it. Huh. It's supposed to be released. Is it stuck on something? If that fuel's on. Uh, well, sorry, infinite electricity. I, I don't see the problem. What is the problem? It's trying to turn, but it cannot turn. That is definitely a problem. Huh. Well, I'm a, a thought. So what if we just simply delete these? Is that the problem? If that's the problem, then that's definitely a problem. Yeah, that might have been the problem. But I don't see how that's the problem. No? That's... It just keeps getting stuck here for some reason. Um, that's odd. Their speed isn't right. Maybe let me just try to delete them and replace them. So this is connected to here, facing this way. So let's remerge this, as well as this. Okay, then this right here is rotating this way, and it's merged to here. So let's simply place it back. And let's merge it with this. So let's go ahead and merge it. Okay, that's merged. All right. So now let's merge this with this. Okay, now let's put the throttle lever to them. Let's connect it with this. And we will connect this threshold gate back up and let's put the magnet back on maybe it was a problem with the XML moddings that, that that could have been it so let's grab a track gripper this one right here let's just simply place it down right here right there okay then we will grab a uh where is it what is it called? Uh, it's right here. Uh, track gripper. No, okay, we'll just simply place it down right here. Okay, the threshold gate will go to here, the release. Okay, now let's spawn it in. That way, this might work this time. Hopefully this time. If not this time, then I will be sad. Did it not grip? No, I did not place it down. How did I not? I thought I played... Oh, I guess I didn't. <laughs> Um, maybe you guys are just watching the video at the moment thinking, no, Josh, you forgot to place it down, and I probably did, but, oh well, it's early in the morning, I'm tired, so, well, I'm still waking up, but, now, yes, it worked. Okay, let's go ahead and open it. No, that's not good. 
What did it catch on? Okay, let's change the gear ratios. So let's change this to a one-to-one. -one. And with this, as well as this, and this. Maybe that might make it a little bit weaker or something, I don't know. So, let's go ahead and open this. That worked. That took way too long for that simple uh, door to fix. Okay, we also have this right here. So, the problem with this is this doesn't fold back fast enough. Wait, actually, so this right here will just attach to the throttle lever. All right, so let's go ahead and attach, actually, let's go ahead and attach all of these to the throttle lever. So we're just going to simply attach it to here, uh, as well as here and here. Okay, then these right here, but these right here will be slow. So we'll put them at 0.1, same with this, as well as this. So let's go ahead and spot in and try it out with the main throttle lever. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm going to make these faster, just by a bit. Um, this is supposed to go to a clamp. Yes, it does. Okay, let me speed these up to 0.5. Or 0 0.6 will do. 0 0.6 is also a number that we could do. Um, this will be 0.6. Okay, this will be 0.6 as well to match the other side. So it doesn't break it. Okay, let's spawn it in now. Alright, so. Let's go ahead and give it a go. So, let's go ahead and open it. That was too fast. Yeah, that's that's totally gonna work. Okay, let's um speed these other tracks up. So this will be two times speed. Uh this will be two times speed. This right here will be two times speed. And this will be two times speed. Right here, this will also be two times speed. This was 2.1, so let's fix that. Okay, so this right here will be, oh, that's max speed, okay. Let's give it a go. All right, so let's simply go ahead and go to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it. Nope, that's too fast. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and Put this function block. Oh wait a second. No, that was connected, right? Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this clamp to here as well. So this will be a lot faster. And this throttle lever will also be a lot slower. So it'll be half the speed, 50% of the speed. Change this to 100. So it'll be near instant, and we might have to slow down the speed of the actual pivots, but this theoretically should work. Nope, it didn't. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and I think I'm just going to do two separate throttle levers. Maybe. Um, oh, you know what? You know what I could do is as soon as so I could do a function block. So I could put this back to the original throttle lever. Oh, well, this clamp to the original throttle lever. That'll do better. So this uh, function block right here will do x times 1.5. Actually, now it would be x times 3. So actually, x times 3.4. So what this is, is this is going to stop at 0.3, I believe it is, or it might be 0.35, so let's change this to 0.3. So this function block is going to times everything over here by 3, so as soon as this is at the peak, this will start. 
So let's simply, um, let's go ahead and connect it to everything here. So this will go to here as well as here and here as well as here. Okay, as well as here. Okay, I believe also here and here. Okay, what about these? Yeah, that'll that'll work. Okay. So now let's spawn in and try it out. So this theoretically should work. So let's give it a go. Alright, so let's go to the throttle lever. That didn't work. That definitely didn't work. Okay, so I'm just going to simply end the episode here. I'm going to fix it in between. So I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and join the Discord. It'll be linked down below. And while you're at it, you might as well turn on notifications so you're notified every time I upload. So anyways, guys, with that said, I will see you guys in the next episode. So bye for now.